Item number SCP-6990 Security Level 3 Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures Due to SCP-6990's widespread prevalence and mainstream influence, containment has been deemed unnecessary. Description SCP-6990 is an ever-present concept within the collective human meme sphere. SCP-6990 describes the commonly known conspiracy theory in which the pyramid structures within Egypt were constructed by or in conjunction with extraterrestrial life forms. Despite overwhelming scientific and logical evidence against said idea, the idea remains a common belief among certain groups of people. Theories regarding SCP-6990 often make illogical or pseudoscientific claims regarding the construction of the pyramids, including but not limited to the following. The pyramids were built before humans inhabited the area they are in. The wheel had not been invented yet, thus making transport for limestone blocks impossible. The line of longitude and the line of latitude that the pyramids lie on are the exact same value as one another. The front face of the pyramid faces magnetic north exactly. The three tops of the pyramids of Giza are aligned exactly under the three stars that make up the boat portion of the Orion constellation. Discovery Initially, SCP-6990 has been dismissed as a non-anomalous and widespread conspiracy theory. However, on the 26th of September 2021, the Foundation detected significant mimetic disturbance from within the Pyramid of Khufu in Giza. An SCP-6990 research team under the guise of Egyptologists from Cambridge University conducting research for the institution, entered the pyramid with permission from the Egyptian government. A transcript of their investigation is attached below. SCP-6990 Research Team Transcript from within Khufu Pyramid Date 29th of September 2021 Time 1620 Team Lead Dr. Omar Mohammed Research Members Elizabeth Smith Johan Olofsson Armed Members Alfred Zokas Delikatsin Fern Additional Personnel Najim Note Najim is slightly anomalous. The full extent of her abilities are currently undefined. However, the Foundation is currently aware that her primitive sapience and complete understanding of human speech and iconography. Research into the anomalous abilities of Najim are still underway. Cat. Begin log. Dr. Mohammed is seen moving into the entrance of the Khufu Pyramid. His research partners and guards are seen following closely behind. Mohammed, Smith, and Olofsson are all holding memetic disturbance scanners, which they slowly wave around them. As soon as you pick anything up, let me know immediately. Of course, Doctor. The team is seen descending towards the subterranean area of the pyramid, led only by the flashlights on their headgear. Their devices beep in time with one another as they search for mimetic disturbance. In total silence, the team makes it to the bottom of the descending passageway and are now in front of the subterranean chamber. Dr. Olofsson points his scanner towards the escape shaft. The device beeps weakly. Got something! Towards the escape shaft! The team all turn towards the shaft and swiftly begin ascending it. They then come to a slow crawl as they thoroughly scan the shaft for a signal. All the scanners begin to beep louder and rhythmically as they move forward. Dr. Smith then stops in her tracks in front of the left wall. Behind this wall, Smith knocks on the wall. A hollow echo rings back. Yep, sounds like something's behind it. Dr. Mohammed is seen touching his earpiece. Come on, this is Mohammed. We've found a sealed chamber within the pyramid. Lots of romantic disturbance from behind the wall sealing it. Permission to investigate further. Permission granted. Proceed with caution. Affirmative.
Dr. Mohammed turns to his teammates and nods. Immediately they begin. Olufsen places a pet carrier down and releases an Abyssinian cat from within it. All right, Najim, time to do your magic. He picks up Najim and cuddles her. Smith scoffs. You bought Najim? Why? Olufsen sets Najim down. Hey, Najim is an integral part of this team, even if she isn't swatting away any curses. Johan, there's no curses. You should know that. There's never been any curses. Note, the concept of ancient Egyptians sealing their tombs or other similar buildings with curses has no basis in history and is instead an idea rooted in Victorian sensationalism. Shh! Najim stays. As Olufsen and Smith argue, Jim is seen sneaking through a small cat-like hole in the wall and into the chamber behind it. Fine! She's still good company to keep. Smith reaches down to pet Najim, finding that she is no longer present. Where's Najim? Najim! Najim! Come back to daddy! Psst, 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 psst. Smith and Olufsen are seen looking wildly around in the escape shaft. Suddenly, the wall next to Smith makes a clinking noise before racing. Jim is seen standing behind the newly opened chamber, cleaning herself. That's why we bring the Jim. Now, let's move forward. The walls of the chamber are covered in hieroglyphs, which the team scrambles forward. The chamber contains no objects. However, the center of the room holds a bright yellow sphere. Nothing, just some generic stuff. Hmm, nothing here either. Nope. A small mouse is heard. The team looks at the team, is looking at another cat. The other cat, sitting in front of the team, is adorned with jewelry and gives her a cold stare. The team stares back. Who is that? The team, ask him what this chamber is. What? Johan, are you out of your mind? What? It's worth a shot. The king mouths at the giant cat, who mouths back. They enter a back and forth of mouths. And how do you suppose we'll be getting an answer from the king, hmm? We'll figure something out. Quiet! Both of you! I'm meeting! Smith groans. The king and the adorned cat continue with their conversation. The king then stops and bows her head towards the cat, before returning to Olufsen. Olufsen picks her up and cuddles her. All right, my little darling. What do you have got? A Jean Mao said Olufsen. Right. Okay, so maybe you had a point. Smith scoffs. Look, we'll figure something out, all right? Mohammed steps up to Olufsen and takes a Jean from him. He then places a Jean down and takes a large sheet of paper out of his bag. He places the paper in front of Najim and begins drawing. When finished, he looks up at Najim. On the paper, there are two drawings. One is of a light bulb above her head, and the other is the same drawing with the light bulb crossed out. With one. Najim places a paw on the drawing without the crossed out light bulb. Mohammed erases the drawings and begins to draw again. Smith stares in disbelief or all of some smirks. Told you we'd fight away. Smith lightly punches Olufsen in his right arm. Hey, what is that for? Mad that I was right? You... <coughs> Just shut up! Smith pouts and crosses her arms. Olufsen gives a resounding chuckle. The two then watch Mohammed and the team in silence for the next five minutes. After five minutes, Mohammed rolls the paper and stands up. The team climbs onto his shoulder. All right, team, I've got an answer. So, what is this? What's the momentic disturbance about? I asked the team some two option questions, where she picked what the correct option is. Mostly yes or no questions. I managed to get some words and phrases out of her. Hey, Gashisho, I see. She gave me permit, origins, deceit, re, visitors, wealth. Spending, economy, future, and human and unusual builders. So we've got to decide with that, it seems to be. The team begin thinking, 
they still are around room as they do. Mohammed paces the chamber. But did they hire some cats to build the pyramid, and this orb thing prevents people from remembering that? No, the Jean would have said cat if she knew it was cats. Speaking of, where's that other cat? The team briefly scanned the room. There's no sign of the adorned cat. Guess we missed our chance for containment. Oh well, let's keep thinking. The team continues to pace the room. All of a sudden reveals the hieroglyphs on the walls. Maybe there's something here. I don't suppose the cannibal hymn. Note, an ancient Egyptian hymn used in the Old Kingdom, used to symbolize a pharaoh becoming one with the gods. What if anything to do with this? I sure hope not. Hmm, what's really got me thinking are the faces unhuman and unusual builders. But has this got to do with that stupid ancient Indian's theory? Mohammed pauses and stares. He appears to have an epiphany. No, don't tell me I was right. I think we have our answer. Please don't say aliens. Please don't say aliens, please. No. Smith and Olufsen let off the loud sigh. They wanted to make the pyramid seem supernatural in origin. Huh? I think I get it. What? The ancients must have lied about how the pyramids were built. They wanted to make its origins an enigma to outsiders. I believe so. What better way to do that to just start a conspiracy theory about aliens building the pyramids? What with this being a tomb to a pharaoh? It'd be fitting for it to have some sort of supernatural air to it. Well, that doesn't explain this. Smith waves her arms towards the yellow orb. What's the big board got to do with it? I'm not sure. Given its extremely high mimetic disturbance, it has to be some kind of vector for something. The team is silent for ten seconds. I think I have an idea. This orb is perpetuating that conspiracy theory you mentioned. What, you mean this is putting the ancient Indian theory into the collective meme sphere or something? Perhaps the team did mention me. So perhaps they try to raise power to do so. The result of which is a yellow orb which we see in front of us? But why? What benefit do they gain from keeping their origins an enigma? Tourism. Right! The Jean mentioned lots of words to do with money. She also mentions future and visitors. I think we're onto something. The aliens wanted to keep the origins a mystery from outsiders so that people would come visit and investigate. They couldn't keep the whole thing a mystery from everyone, I presume. So, they settled for a conspiracy theory. Playing the long game, eh? Mohammed touches his earpiece. Come on, I believe we're ready to exit the premises. I'll be bringing a full report of our findings when we get back to the site. Permission to leave? Granted. Good work out there. Got it. Thanks. Mohammed looks at his team. Well, time to go. They've got a lot of thinking to do. He don't have to say that again. Olufsen reaches for Najim and kisses her. He was such a good girl today. He then places the Jean back in her carrier and closes it. All right, I'm ready. End log. Following the discovery of this correlation, the chamber was resealed with limestone. All major research institutions have been placed under gag orders to not reveal the discrepancy in age between the newly placed limestone and the surrounding limestone. The memetics department performed further investigations into the theory presented by the research team and concluded that they were correct. Investigations into other extent conspiracy theories and their presence in the meme sphere is undergoing.